just when stakeholders were seeing a faint ray of hope in the sand mining industry, their dreams have been shattered once again after the government extended the date of starting the business by another 15 days. Thousands of people are involved in this industry who have been suffering the loss of business, first due to the pandemic and then with the action of the Green Tribunal. Hundreds of dumper truck owners are having to go through the worst day of their lives, unable to pay their installments for their loans as there has been practically no business for almost a year and eight months now. The government's decision to make all transactions online has added to the plight of the stakeholders of this industry. Nothing is clear to anyone on the outcome of the new regulations as they have not been made public or implemented by the government. The stakeholders plan to hold a discussion and chalk out a plan for the future on the 22nd of September to come out of the dark patch that they are going through. The government has decided to make all transactions online and come up with new regulations which we know nothing about. Every year during the monsoon sand mining is shut down for two months. This time it has been shut down for three months and then again there has been a further extension by another 15 days putting all the stakeholders of the industry in deep trouble. The number of children getting admitted to state-run hospitals is still on the rise. In Jalpaiguri, 140 children are presently admitted at the district hospital. Yesterday the count was 91. Due to lack of beds, three children were seen in a single bed. The infrastructure is in shambles is what one of the mothers of a child discharged today told the media. The situation in the hospital is really bad. There are too many patients and the number of children that were in the OPD was very high. I saw three admitted children sleeping in a single bed. The OPD and the indoor units had a large number of children come for checkup and further treatment, all with fever. The authorities have decided to increase the number of beds by 40 to cope up with the sudden rush. The new ward which was to open today was found locked. Authorities said that the ward was being sanitized and will be operational at the earliest.